Big L, rest in peace. All right, so I just got back from school. It's like super rainy outside, it's really ugly. I'm warming up some leftover Olive Garden. So we have, um, what is it? Chicken and shrimp, chicken and shrimp something. And a chicken Alfredo. And then we got some soup over here. Let me show you guys. Um, man, what is this called? Bacotti or something? I, I don't know, it's something soup. It has like little soft chunks in it with chicken. And we got some breadstick, breadsticks and we also got another one of these, I'm gonna eat those for breakfast and probably make some more ground turkey and eggs. But um, this is like a little bit of chicken Alfredo. And this is like the chicken and shrimp um, pasta or whatever, I forgot what it's called. All right, so right now we're just cooking up some ground turkey and eggs. All right, so we have the eggs and ground turkey as usual with the sriracha. No spinach because I ran out of spinach. We got a banana and some oatmeal with chocolate chips and water. Right now I'm just catching up on my YouTube. So we got Max, Christian, and uh, Chris Jones. This weekend, like I wasn't able to like watch any videos. So now I'm using that time to catch up. After I finish eating and watching my YouTube videos, I'm going to... I washed my bed sheets, so I might have to make my bed and clean my room before I head on to the gym. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, finished cleaning my room. It's about time, man. My room's been dirty for like quite a, quite some time now. Got the coat up there. All right, what's happening, guys? Man, it's about that time to start working out again. It is like three, I don't have my phone on me, but it's like about 3.30, 3.20ish. So i um, about to head on to the gym, get this workout. I just want to kind of reflect and tell you guys like what's my next move in like, you know, what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, Saturday was really, really cool. I had a nice meet. It was so, so much fun. Like the second meet at Aggie, um, at Texas A&M College Station, um, the Aggie showdown was like so many more people than my first meet. Like it was like high energy and like there's a crowd. Like when you like w walked onto the platform, when I walked onto the platform, it was like, Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> so it was just really fun to lift. Um, you know, I did break the record for um, in my division for squat and deadlift, and I tied it for bench. So it's like now it's time to build on that. You know, I wasn't completely satisfied with how I performed just because I felt like I could have done more. You know, I didn't take my cut seriously enough, and I lost a lot of strength when I did drop down to 181 pounds. So now it's time to focus and get my mind right, and like really, really appreciate and understand how to cut, not how to cut, but it's just understand um, I need to be at com competition weight, like maybe like a week before I start the actual uh, meet. So yeah, man. So let's talk about the next step, the next step that I have, or like what I'm planning on doing next. So, you know, I've really, I'm, I'm the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, collegiate nationals or raw collegiate nationals, which is going to be in Rhode Island. It's uh, April, April 13th to 14th, I believe. So it's like in another month or so. So uh, yeah, man, I'm really aiming for that. Um, that's basically like the championship for powerlifting for the collegiate uh, level, um, like junior. I don't know, like, I don't know. I just know that it's like a big thing. It's a big deal for, uh, you know, powerlifters. So I'm excited to compete in that. I really, really want to go to that. So it's, Rhode I it's in Rhode Island, April 13th to 14th. So now it's time to kind of like focus in on that. like really really focus on that that's like the championship game that's like the the um, like the world series the the super bowl so we're really gonna grind in for that this whole week is kind of like a relaxed week so i get to just bodybuild yeah man it's gonna be fun day today <laughs> finally back to lifting i didn't lift yesterday um just to just to give my body a, a rest because when you do do a powerlifting meet it takes a lot out of you like my first powerlifting meet i didn't feel like lifting like the whole week like i remember the whole week i was just like I was dead inside the gym. But surprisingly, this meet, this go around, I feel a lot more fresh. A little, uh, you know, after the meet, I didn't feel too fatigued. But um, I woke up Sunday morning. I was a little tired. So I was like, let me just take this day off. Let me just relax today. And I'll restart back on Monday. So now it's time to switch up the split. Today, we're doing chest and triceps. We're doing like that whole, mo uh, you know, what is it? Um, international 
chest day on Monday, so it's chest and triceps today. We're gonna get some volume in, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna revert back to one of my favorite staple chest workouts, and I'm gonna take you guys through it. So let's head on to the gym. It's a good day today. It was rainy, now it's a little more pretty outside. So uh, let's head on out. All right, guys, so I did win um, this free, free workout, BPI. Let me see, make sure I'm getting this right. Yeah, BPI Sports, so this is like the Vortex pre-training powder, so pre-workout. So um, I'm going to try it out for this workout, man. Just switch it up. It is, what is it, the blue? The blueberry lemon ice. So I'm going to take one and a half scoops. So that's, It smells like it's going to taste really good. That will be the pre-workout of choice. Ice cream. All right, so now it's time to taste the pre-workout. See how it tastes. Pretty good, man. So the Alphalete family got me a cookie cake for uh, breaking a couple records at the meet. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Did you hear Russell? He's like, oh, they just got me in for breaking a couple records. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know we watched your video last night and I was like, he was saying like, oh, I think I got like five something. And I'm like, how does he not know his numbers? Like, <laughs> just so casually, he's like, yeah, I broke record, but I know, it was like 692, What does my score mean? Did I break like it? Like, <laughs> he was like, you're like asking your girlfriend, I think, behind the camera or something. No, they wouldn't tell me if I broke it or not. Like, they're just, uh, should I just like. R for records. That's what R, for R for records. records. <laughs> Russell. Should I just like eat it? Okay. Here's a tissue. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Let me get the U for undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. No problem, man. Have a good workout. Let's get All right, so now it's time to start squat every day. Um, I did not squat yesterday because I did take the day off, but it's still I still count the streak going because I'm squatting every single day that I'm working out. I didn't work out Sunday. I took the day off just to relax, allow my body to like you know just get back into it. So today's the day back. Um, I'm just gonna go for like maybe a heavy single of 455 with normal back squat. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Just gonna ease my body back into it. Um, I'm not gonna keep going heavy repetitively, like repeatedly. I went really heavy on Saturday, so Sat Sunday I took the day off, and then now Monday I'm coming back doing heavy normal squats. So let's get it. All right, so now it's time to start my chest and tricep workout. The first movement we're gonna do is some incline barbell press. So we're gonna do three sets of 20, we're gonna get a lot of volume in. I'm gonna stick with the 185 pounds for on incline press, but I might move up to 205 or 225 to get, uh, so it's like we're doing three sets of 20. Three sets of 20, start off the workout. So, uh, it's about to be a good one. Always sunny, always sunny, always sunny. All right, so incline just like burned my chest out. Like I'm already fatigued. Like I could just call the workout right now. But now I'm moving on to flat bench. We're doing um, 10, um, 5, 5, 3, 3, and 1, 1. So we're, it's gonna be max effort bench, so it's gonna be a lot of heavy weight. So uh, first set is gonna be 10 reps. Let's get it. Yo, man, like getting back to this type of lifting just feels so good. Right now, um, like I'm switching my bench, my bench grip up a little bit more, so I'm targeting more of my chest. I'm moving it wider out versus moving it closer in, like my normal bench is really close. So I'm working more with my uh, chest. And like you can kind of tell like the weight, like it's moving, it's moving a little bit. So like 275, I should be able to get that up for like 12 reps. But like even giving up for five reps is kind of a struggle. So now we're moving up to 315. We're on my second set of five. So we're gonna have um, two sets of three left and two sets of one, so. You guys will see. 315 for five, and it's probably gonna go up pretty slow.
<laughs> all right man so it's just funny like we have 365 pounds on the bar right now for my two heavy singles but it's just funny how like when i move my grip out just a little bit like my whole, everything just changes like the whole game of bed changes for me like my power just goes away and like everything becomes like really really difficult but um yeah we got two heavy singles <sighs> 365 pounds <laughs> it's just I haven't failed like on on bench in so long like to fail at 365 like it feels good like I'm pushing my limits I know I can get 365 man it's just like when I move my it just feels good but it's like kind of like damn but uh yeah that's fun man that's fun now it's time to move on and get some uh volume in so let's move on to the next workout all right so now we're gonna do um flat dumbbell bench press we're gonna do okay so like we're gonna do three sets of failure I'm gonna grab the hundreds and just get as many reps as possible. It might be 12, it might be 15, it might be 20. We're just repping out, not really gonna count reps. But we're just gonna go until the muscle can't go anymore. So let's get it. All right, so we just finished up doing the flat dumbbell bench press. We got like, I was getting like close to like 21 and 22 reps. So now it's time to move on to some dumbbell flies, getting this more volume in. We're doing like three sets of 10. Then we're gonna move on to some tricep work, so. All right, so now we're moving to a tricep superset. We're gonna do French curls, and we're gonna superset that with some close grip uh, push-ups. Close grip push-ups. I feel like I'm not. That's not the right, correct term for that. We're doing push-ups. We're doing tricep push-ups. So our hands are closer together. So diamond push-ups. Whatever term you want to use when your hands are closer together when you're doing push-ups, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna get some volume in. We're using 65 for the French curls, and we're doing. So I'm putting like a 45 on my back. And doing some diamond push-ups. So let's get it. All right, so now we're moving on to the last tricep workout, and the last workout of the day. So we're gonna do a superset. We're gonna do tricep uh, push downs, and we're gonna do reverse grip tricep push downs. It's gonna be a superset. We're gonna do ten, and then flip it over, and then to do ten more. So uh, yeah. All right, just finished up with the workout. Now it's time to get some Chipotle. All right, so at Chipotle, I picked up um, a bowl. I got rice, double chicken, a um, little bit of black beans. We got the veggies, corn, uh, pico, sour cream, medium sauce, cheese, and lettuce. It's so hard to remember like what I got. <laughs> I had to like keep remembering. And I, of course I got the chips. I've been getting Chipotle thanks to my mom's Valentine's gift card. So I just call it for free Pole now. I'm just gonna call it free Pole. And you know, as I showed you guys, as you guys saw earlier, um, the Alpha League team gave me this cool cookie cake that said congratulations, Russ Wool. Now it says, congratulations, Wool. <laughs> And it's like hard, man. Like I can't even explain. I read it already, and like so many nice messages from everybody on the team. Like I can't even. <sighs> I can't even like explain how. I mean, all I try to do is just work hard. I try to keep my head down and focus on the task at hand. Like this year, 
it's kind of cliche to say it, but like this year, my my New Year's resolution was to just like stop making excuses and stop, you know, saying I can't do something or I won't be like as good as something. Like I, you have to start. I just my message to you guys is if you have something you want to do, start. That's half the battle. Sometimes we psych ourselves out before we even start, and we ended up not doing it just because we don't even start. And man, it's just I made this like. This year, I told myself this is gonna be my year. Simple as that. This is gonna be my year, and uh, I'm just having fun with it, man. I'm having fun. I truly, 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 I'm truly enjoying the process. And it's not even. I, I, I don't even like. You just there's sometimes you just have no words, and it's like one of those points when I just have no words. I'm just truly thankful for everything, and um, I really want to eat this Chipotle. I'm super hungry. It feels good. Like, look how beautiful this looks right now, man. This looks amazing. Looks so good. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.